Suspects killed during an incident that left five Houston, Texas police officers wounded has ties to our area. The shootout happened when the officers went to the home where Regina Nichols Tuttle and Dennis Tuttle were living to serve a warrant. We learned today that Nichols Tuttle once lived in Macon and graduated from Central Academy. Our Quentin Smith speaks with someone who grew up with Nichols. He now joins us live in the studio with more. Yes, Scott, Regina graduated from Central Academy just over 40 years ago in 1978. That's also the last time many of her classmates and childhood friends saw her. Now, for many, when they saw and heard about what happened in Texas, a sense of heartbreak and disbelief began to set in. We went to school together. All the way through school, we graduated from Central Academy here in Macon. A sweet, loving, and outgoing person. That's how Mark Battle remembers his classmate, Regina Tuttle. Her dad been a dentist, was a dentist here for a long time, and I can remember him filling some of my teeth back from 1965, so that's how long ago it's been. It's been a long time. It's been over 40 years to be exact since Battle last saw Tuttle. He says he was shocked to hear about the circumstances surrounding her death. <laughs> It all unfolded late Monday evening when more than a dozen officers arrived at Tuttle's Houston, Texas home to serve a narcotics warrant. Tuttle, along with her husband, Dennis Tuttle, were both inside the home when officers arrived. Upon making entry, uh, they uh, immediately came under fire. According to police, the husband fired multiple shots at officers and Regina tried to disarm an officer. In all, four undercover officers were shot and one suffered a knee injury. However, both Dennis and Regina Tuttle were killed. When I heard the news this morning, it just floored me. I didn't know anything. It's, it's like a totally different person because it's not what she was when she was growing up to me. I just I couldn't believe it. Now, all five officers who were shot were taken to the hospital. Two officers are in critical condition, two others were discharged, and another was in good condition. Now, the good news is all of the officers are expected to make a full recovery. Scott?